let's look at an absolutely practical situation you're putting in a lot of work you're working really hard at your career in your business you're getting some success but what happens is you're not being able to manifest what you're trying to desire you end up putting in a lot of work and the rewards that you're getting are not in congruence to the amount of work that you're putting in you really have the faith but at the same time despite all the practices and processes that you're following you're just not being able to manifest what exactly is missing many a times it's not necessarily what you're missing in your law of attraction practice but what else are you doing in your day-to-day -day life what are you doing with regards to your routines that is actually hampering your work hampering your manifestation and hampering your overall mindset in today's episode i'm going to talk to you about five things that you need to change to increase your manifestation pace and what these things may not even be associated with your law of attraction practice as i told you earlier so you may get a lot of shock and a lot of surprises hello and welcome this is manifest with paycheck to profit a podcast a weekly podcast where i talk to you about how you can use law of attraction to manifest more wealth into your life I'm Manish Ahuja, founder of Paycheck to Profit, a community where I'm helping entrepreneurs, working professionals, homemakers, people running their own small businesses, freelancers to change their money mindset, build a better relationship with money, eliminate their money blocks, get financially literate so that they can invest their money with a lot of confidence, with a lot of structure and achieve financial freedom. Let me tell you about the first thing that is hampering your law of attraction practice is that you're not saying no enough in your life. Now, this may seem counterintuitive, but let me explain. Everything that you say yes to becomes your responsibility. Everything that you say yes to becomes a situation that you need to put your energy on. And you come with a few finite resources, which is you have finite energy, you have finite time. So where you invest your time, where you invest your energy is extremely important. Now, if you end up investing your energy in areas which end up taking a lot of your time, that is where you are going wrong. So even if you're putting a lot of effort in your law of attraction practice, but when you're actually practicing your real life, if you're investing a lot of time and energy in things which are pulling you down around uh, situations which are not helping you grow, that is what is hampering your law of attraction practice. So be very, very careful of what you say a yes to and please learn the habit of saying no. What is not congruent with your vision should not be accepted at any cost because it's going to cost you very dearly later. The second thing that people are doing wrong is they're probably not working in congruence with their purpose. Now, there are so many people who don't even understand the whole concept of purpose. What exactly is their, what exactly is their why and why is it so important to work around your purpose? Now, if you don't know about this make sure that you comment and reach out to me on social media so that we can have more conversations about it but i'm just trying to give you a bird's eye view of what can you do wrong or what are you probably doing wrong if you don't like your work if you don't like the kind of business that you are in if that's a business that has been forced upon you because of you uh, because of you coming from a family heritage it is not necessarily going to help you achieve what you're looking for so be very confident of doing the kind of work that you're doing. If your work is not bringing a lot of satisfaction to your customers, if your work is not good for the life of your customers, it at some level may not make you happy. If you're not in sync with your work, if you're not in sync with the company that you're working in, if you're not in sync with the business that you are operating in, please try to find some alternatives or please try to change that about yourself because that is hampering your energy within and that is having a negative impact on your law of attraction the third thing that people are doing wrong is that they're spending a lot of time around people things that are actually sucking the energy i call these people and this entire concept as energy vacuum cleaners we come with finite energy we have an infinite source of energy access to an infinite source of energy but that does not mean that we can keep exploiting it over and over again Instead, what you can do is you can control where your energy is getting expended. What kind of people are you spending time with? What kind of media are you consuming? Negative media consumption is very, very, very harmful. Listening to sad songs which keep repeating the whole concept of why you are bad at relationships, why you are bad at manifesting money, why rich people are bad. Watching movies and TV series which talk about how rich are evil is going to have a direct impact on your subconscious mind. So be very careful about negative energy vacuum cleaners. Only spend time around 
positive energy listen to more podcasts like this uh, in fact i would like you to go to the description of this uh, episode and look for a link called profit clan uh, just go and subscribe to the profit clan it's email newsletters which i send out to my paycheck to profit community where i can where i keep updating you about the new episodes that come out new videos that i share new webinars and workshops that i am doing and just give you a lot of value emails i'll just read out the link for you for your benefit just in case if you're listening to this episode and not watching it on youtube it's p a y c h e c k t o p r o f i t dot com slash p r o f i t c l a n let me do that again once more for your benefit it's p a y c h e c k t o p r o f i t dot com slash p r o f i t c l a n so paycheck to profit dot com slash profit clan just go to that link and sign up for the profit clan emails and you are going to thank yourself for actually changing the the source of energy the source of inspiration that you are spending your time with and this could be one of the best steps that you do the fourth thing that you can also get updates from paycheck to profit on whatsapp you'll find the details of that in the description below so please if you don't like checking emails i also have a process to reach out to you on whatsapp so please check that the fourth thing that i need you to do and i need you to understand is if you're not working on your mind body and soul it's going to have a direct impact on your law of attraction you may put a lot of effort in your affirmations or in your visualizations in your journaling but what you need to do is you also need to focus on your mind body and soul when you focus on your mind you're clearing out your thoughts when you're focusing on your body and by body i mean your physical health and your mental health you're clearing out your energies and you when you're focusing on your soul you're clearing out vibrations everything with law of attraction and manifestation has to do with energy you may be putting in a lot of work in your job and i see many people doing this but they don't get results because their energy is not clean they work 12 hours a day and then they eat junk food when you're working so hard you're actually putting your body through so much stress and then you're putting more stress on your body through junk food and i completely understand that because i have lived that sort of life so i see the pain i understand your pain but you have to do something about it before it's too late you're spending time across bad people who are actually corrupting your mind which are telling you about why rich people are bad so that is affecting your thought process and if you don't have a spiritual practice now this is not going to be a conversion session but you should have some sort of spiritual practice that keeps you grounded that keeps you happy that keeps you content and that keeps you emotionally fulfilled so please focus on working on your mind body and soul the fifth and the last thing that i would really really like you to do if you are not doing is definitely affecting your law of attraction practice is not understanding the difference between the state of flow and going with the flow most people in their life are going with the flow because as we've mentioned they are either doing a job or a part of a business which has been handed down to them they are doing a job because that's the domain expertise that they have based on the career based on the degree that they have they've not chosen their career the career has chosen them so if you are in that sort of a life where you are going with the flow i would really like you to understand there is another alternative that you have that is wherein you are working in the state of flow now understand this this is this podcast has been going on for 8 and a half minutes it's a one take podcast i have just made my notes in front of me and i'm just reading out because i have thought about these points i have i've been living with these points i have this passion of talking to my audience and giving them all this information which is in me through these videos and through these podcasts so this is what will happen when you are when you are in a state of flow you just make your points and you talk to camera as if you're talking to the person sitting in front of you and you just talk for 9 minutes 10 minutes 12 minutes for however long this video is going to be that is the difference between working with the state of flow or working in a life where you're going with the flow please live a life where you are working in a state of flow do what you love and love what you do it is very important for you to love your life love the work that you do love the people that you are around love the love everything about your life and whatever is stopping that is going to affect you how do you do that the first step to actually envision a life like this and live a life like this is to have clarity clarity of what clarity of your goals in the description of this podcast you will find a link to a past episode where i tell you 
how you can set goals which are actually going to be capable, which are going to help you achieve those goals, get more clarity on what kind of goals should you achieve. How do you select the goals on the basis of priority? Do not miss that episode because that episode could actually be the missing link between you and your success. That episode or that information could actually help you 10x your financial growth. So make sure that you check that episode, make sure that you become a part of the profit clan and I am so happy that you have managed to stay till the end of this podcast. If you're still here, please do me a small favor. Take a screenshot of this podcast on whatever app you're listening to this podcast on or on uh, YouTube. Share a screenshot of this podcast on your social media, Instagram and LinkedIn being and Twitter being the most uh, favored. Do not forget to tag Pay2Pro and Mr. Remojical. That's me. And I would be very, very, very grateful so that more and more people can get to know about Manifest with Paycheck to Profit. More and more people can get to know about the mistakes that they are doing, which is costing them their financial future. I want more and more people to get benefit of this podcast and that can only happen with your support. So please do that. Also, do not forget to give a five star rating to this podcast on whatever app you're listening to this podcast on because it's very important so that more and more people can discover this podcast if not through your screenshots but through the ratings it will take only two minutes but those two minutes go a very long way in sustenance of this podcast so please do that if you have any questions with regards to law of attraction money mindset money blocks the kind of work that i do at paycheck to profit do follow me on social media or you can also ask me all your questions on pay to pro or mr emojical all the links are given in the description below so you have nothing to worry about thank you so much for your time thank you for staying till the end i'll now see you in the next episode on monday 6 a.m ist and i'll tell you about some more other factors which are going to help you manifest with paycheck to profit thank you so much until then keep going keep growing thank you